Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and you are watching Freezer Meat Friday. Every Friday at noon Eastern, we come out with a video celebrating meat, wild game meat, meat that you have in the freezer and something fun to do with. This is my buddy Laney, Laney Wallace from Mossy Oak. We're at the legendary Mossy Oak cabin just outside West Point, Mississippi. That's right. Right? This cabin's over 200 years old. When we were planning this trip, I called Laney. I said, yo, what do you love to eat? Deer meat. Dear me, and I said, I want to make smash burgers, and you said, Love smash burgers. Boom. <laughs> this isn't scripted either. This is just how it went down. This is the truth. I've never really cooked smash burgers before, so I called my buddy Guga, and Guga said, Rob, you're thinking about making smash burgers with deer meat? Man, you gotta add a little bit of Wagyu fat. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna talk to my brother Emilio from Grand Western Steaks to make sure to get you some. And I tell you one thing. I wish I was there, brother, because I know that thing is going to be amazing. Japanese A5 Wagyu trimmings. This is the fat. If you're going to make smash burgers, you've got to have the fat. The fat holds it together. It gives it the juice. It gives it the flavor. It gives it the love, baby. That is what mm. we're cooking. Fresh backstraps. Organic before organic was cool. What store would sell such wonderful organic meat? The woods, folks. That's where it came from. This was raised on corn and acorns, eating wild grasses, living a wild life. And at the snap of a finger, everything went dim. We harvested the deer ethically, morally, spiritually. With a bow. With a bow and arrow. <laughs> Brought it back to, you know what? I think it would be much better if we just, let's, let's go now. Let's go to the grocery store of life and show you where this came from. Came from. The wind is kind of swirling back in here but this is the first time we've ever sat here so it's already getting late the shadows are getting long so we're gonna get quiet and just enjoy the afternoon the nice thing about this burris oracle is it's got a laser range finder in it so i can range and i don't need a secondary range finder This is where Mossy Oak was invented. This is where the concept come from. Toxie Hayes, the founder, like grew up in these swamps. And when you look at this pattern and you look at these trees, you realize that it's perfect. First day I ever come here with a brand new bow. I picked this bow up two days ago in Okeechobee at Skull Hill Archery. Literally, it's my favorite color with my favorite brand. You ready to get that deer bow? Come on, get in here. Come on. Go, go, get him in there. Come on. He don't want to get his feet wet. Come on. Get him in there. <laughs> he didn't want to get his feet wet. You ready for it? You ready to find that deer? You ready to find that deer boy? Where's that deer? Where's that deer? Now! Where's that deer boy? 
What is that deer? You got him. You got him, boy. Yeah. Look at that big buck, boy. Look at that buck, boy. You got him. Look at that, y'all. We got deer meat for dinner, baby. But you know what? This is just the start of it. That hunt could not have gone any better. And of all the deer I've ever shot with my bow, that one went the least amount of distance. Done and out. Brought them back to camp, cleaned them up, and we've got back straps. Now, that is a back strap. That basically, you know when you ask somebody to rub your back? That muscle, that's your back strap. This came off a deer though. Let me show you, that's the silver skin. Typically, if I'm grinding meat, I'm not gonna worry about that too much because the grinder will make short work of it. But if you cut it off or cut most of it off, in this circumstance, we're making the best smash burgers on the face of the earth. So we're gonna trim it out. Okay, now that we've got our back straps all trimmed out, I wanna cut them into little strips, just like this. These little strips will go into the grinder nice and easy. And before you know it, you are gonna be all set. You need to use at least 20% fat. And that is gonna turn into the love. Perfect, then you turn it on. I know it's a little loud, but hey, let's go. So we just got done grinding. I was gonna go with two rounds of grinding, but this has the perfect consistency to me. What do you think, Blaney? I think it looks great. We are having a blast. Look at that big old hunk of love right there, you guys. Well distributed with some of that Japanese A5 YU, and let's make our smash burgers. You don't need to make them big, and you don't wanna pack them together too tight. You wanna have it just about that. Like, it's gonna fit in the palm of your hand if you have big hands. And just uh, sort of roll them together, about like that. This is a pan, I sprayed a little bit of olive oil on there. There you go. And these are so fun, so easy to make, and they taste incredible. Let's go with two at a time. Set them in there, smash them down. Perfect, that's exactly what you're looking for. I think we can even fit a couple more. Yes, see how they're not perfectly round. They have little, you know, dips and ducks in them. They're rigid. That's where all that flavor is gonna lie. The cast iron skillet's hot. They're browning. That beautiful A5 YU is gonna render down. It's gonna percolate through the meat and it's gonna be stinking amazing. That's why the title of this video is The Best Deer Burger Ever Made. Oh, look how perfect that is. That's what you're looking for. You gotta have that sear. That's why you gotta have your pan so hot. Now we'll take some of these brioche buns with sesame seeds, spray a little olive oil on them. Just like that, we're gonna toast up our buns. Ooh. This is just how we do it. Let's put a, we're making double burgers. Who doesn't like pepper jack cheese? Put these burgers right on top here. We can take some onion, big old fat hunk of love right there, just like that. Piece of tomato on top. Little salt, little pepper on your tomato. 
That's gonna make the tomato amazing. Then you're gonna take some lettuce, lechuga, on the top. Cut it down the middle and show you what it looks like. Mm. Look at that. Absolute beautiful. Still steaming, ready to go. And before we say the blessing, I want to tell Mr. Toxie Hayes and Mr. Fox Hayes, the whole Fox, the whole Hayes clan, everybody at Mossy Oak, it has been a pleasure and an honor getting to come to this cabin and enjoy the woods with y'all. Floyd, it was really nice having you come up, even though you fell out of the tree a couple of times. <laughs> He's coming down He's the a ladder. Warrior. Bah, bah. He's a warrior. <laughs> I'm like, you're not supposed to stop, drop, and roll. But um, it has been a real honor and a pleasure getting to come up here. Thank you, everyone who made it happen. Um, let's say the blessing and we're gonna eat. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, thank you for the success we've had in the field. Please be with us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. All right, let's see what it tastes like, boys. Don't bite the toothpick. It's time. Look at that, you still have a little bit of pink in there. Oh, it's just wrong. Mm -hmm. I love onion. That's what they're biting on right there, boys. Best jib burger ever, bro. For real. That is delicious. Mm. Hey, you gotta try it. Grand Western Steaks, thank you so much. Emilio, you're awesome. Guga, thank you so much for the inspiration. Everybody out there watching, man. Freezer Meat, Free Freezer Meat Friday is all about celebrating meat and celebrating this way of life. If you've got something in the freezer, pull it out and have fun with it. We've done Filipino adobo, we've done wild tacos, we've done honey roasted shoulders. Go through freezer meat, pick something out, have a good time, and enjoy it with some friends. Hey, well, that's all I got for today. Scale of one to 10. Try out 10, bro. What do you say? Best never oh, ever had. 10. <laughs> you got a 10 right here, man. Unbelievable. Hey, everybody. Take a bite, enjoy life. That's all I got for today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone. Mm.